G'day guys, we're here at Boyd's Motorcycle Surgery with our tech head Matt Boyd and we have the long-term Honda CRF 450L that we're going to make some modifications to. We picked a few things that we want to change to make it a bit more of an enduro bike as it is at the moment, it's a, a dual purpose bike so it does a little bit of adventure, trail and enduro and so Matt's going to play with some of the parts for us. Does it look Matt like it's obviously it's a Honda, that's well built, but there are bits and pieces they've put on it for ADR compliance. Can you reckon you can get rid of them without too much of a problem? Yeah, it's a little bit clunky. Lots of plastic stuff that doesn't really need to be there. I think we can get rid of it, mm. tidy the bike up, slim it down a bit and make it a bit lighter. And have you seen any of these come into the workshop where they've only been out for three months, but have you seen them come into the workshop? Not a whole lot yet. Mm. Um, they are out there, but um, haven't seen a whole lot of them yet. Cool. Alright guys, we'll keep you updated on where we go and what we do with it and um, yeah, stay tuned. Necessary gear like plastic covers over the engine that just add to weight. Uh, the big undertail tail light, uh, we trim that off. Um, 
brake switches, extra wiring. What about um, that exhaust pipe? You took a fair bit of a uh, grinder to the exhaust pipe. So it starts as a stainless steel exhaust is it, to start with, which is already heavy being stainless steel. And then they, they weld more stainless steel brackets to it, heat shields around it, and they bolt plastic to it. So we just cut off the unnecessary ones to save a little bit of weight and just trim the pipe up a little so it's not so bulky and so heavy anymore. Um, and you, you also removed the uh, coolant bowl from under the engine. How hard was that? How did you get it out there? And can you do that without impacting the performance of the bike? So all that's there for is to catch the coolant when the bike overheats. It's got a, a thermo fan on it as it is. So these things really have to be sitting in the one spot, cooking and revving to overheat anyway. Um, and it catches the coolant that dumps out. Um, now that's not there, the coolant will dump to the ground, so the rider just has to be wary that if the bike cooks and it dumps coolant to the ground, which is highly unlikely one of these things with the thermo fan, um, yeah, they'll have to be wary of that and you know, let the bike cool down and top their coolant up. What about, um, we've removed a whole bunch of uh, stuff that you can see behind us. None of it's going to impact the way the bike handles or the performance of the bike or the reliability of the bike. If it, it impacts the handling, it's only going to be for the good, for the better, because um, it's going to make it lighter. Um, Protection-wise, there's a couple of guards and stuff that have been taken off. Um, you, know, you could potentially you know, maybe scratch up the engine easier without them guards. But they're only plastic, so any decent impact, yeah, the bike's going to break through the plastic anyhow. I think we've probably got about five to ten kilos saved in the stuff that we've pulled off. We're we're probably we'll almost ten kilos. <laughs> yeah, we'll weigh it. We're going to have to read the mag to see how much weight we actually got out of it. I think when we get a, a pipe off FMF, they've promised us from Europe they're going to send one over as soon as the prototype's done. I'm sure the pipe will save kilos. Yep. Um, We've also got sprockets coming along. Uh, yeah. The gearing is too tall for the tight trails we want. Yeah. So I've gone up to a 53 and I'm tossing around running a 12 on the front. Yeah, the sprockets having rubber on them. They're steel sprockets with rubber rubber dampers on them, which weigh, there must at least be a kilo in that back sprocket. Yeah. So yeah, get rid of that. That's gonna get your weight down. By going bigger, it's gonna, um, it'll slow the bike's top speed down. It'll give you more torque off the bottom. The gears will be shorter. So rather than riding around in first gear, you maybe use second and third instead. The single trail work will be much nicer to ride. Bigger sprocket on the rear and a smaller on the front. All right, guys, that's it. We're uh, into stage two in the next few weeks and we're gonna be bolting a whole bunch of stuff onto it. And hopefully by the end of that, we'll have a bike that we are pretty confident in will be the best we can get it.